When asked why they like Stalker so much, fans will most likely tell you the atmosphere. And this rings true for all the games discussed in this video. With Stalker 2 being out of the development hell, it may be time for you to find out if Stalker 2 is something you would enjoy playing. Because if Stalker 2 is anything like the originals, it will provide you with a unique open world, explorable in a single player fashion that is rare nowadays. A game you can immerse yourself into and play for weeks, months and in some people's cases even years. I mean, there is a reason why so many people are still part of the fanbase and are actively taking part in fan projects. Novels, short stories, movies, cosplays and lots and lots of mods. From gunplay overhauls to completely new storylines, you will find everything in this very active fanbase. In case you want to take a look into the Stalker franchise and don't want to spend any money on it, then I have something for you. Two of my favorite standalone mods. These are free for you to download and include a completely playable Stalker game for free. But of course they differ a bit from the originals. Nonetheless, they get the most important thing right. The atmosphere. For this video I played the original without mods, Clear Sky with a mod pack to get it running in the first place and Stalker Lost Alpha and Stalker Anomaly, the latter two of course being the free standalone mods. If you are only here because of the free games, you can jump forward to the part dealing with them. The chapters are in the video description. For the rest of you willing to give me the time of the day, let's get into the main part of the video which was made possible by our generous supporters on Patreon. With their support I was able to buy Clear Sky again. My original disc got lost many years ago. I did manage to find my retail copy of the first game though. I really liked the fact that these old games had a manual with them. I mean, it's styled nicely. I like it. But let's put the Instructia aside. The original retail experience of Stalker is sure looking a bit dated today. But unlike the later mods, it does take you by the hand a bit more, guiding you through the first few quests. In addition, traversing the zone is easier as levels are a bit smaller. Nonetheless, even Vanilla Stalker can be a real challenge for newcomers. You need to manage ammunition, plunder fallen enemies, sell and buy weapons, manage first aid equipment and even food. Keep track of your surroundings and who is your friend and who is foe. Making friends in the zone is easy, making enemies even easier. In case you don't know what's going on in the Stalker franchise, Following a second disaster at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, strange anomalies and mutants started to appear in the exclusion zone surrounding the site of the nuclear catastrophe. And now this exclusion zone is your open world to discover, with several factions fighting for control which you are free to join. Scientists wanting to understand the abnormal phenomenon, paramilitaries sworn to eradicate the zone's monsters, bandits, explorers trying to make a quick buck by smuggling artifacts out of the zone and of course the Ukrainian military which tries to pacify the situation with roadblocks and the occasional raid into the zone. And then of course you got religious fanatics who pray to something in the center of the zone. But that's for you to find out in the game. And in pretty much every of the Stalker games, official or mod, you are in the middle of this whole mess and you know, just a simple man trying to make his way in the universe. While in the first game you are playing as a stalker struck by amnesia, in the second game Clear Sky you join a secretive scientist organization and in the third game you explore the zone as a Ukrainian special agent investigating an accident. For that, penetrating deeper into the zone than anyone had before. So far for the official games. Now let us have a look at the fan created games, the two standalone mods I wanted to show you today. The Lost Alpha standalone mod attempts to recreate the developer's original vision of Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. The game had to be massively altered and cut down for the retail release. For example, originally the game was to include drivable vehicles, something that the Lost Alpha mod brings back. One of our first videos here on this channel was a tutorial video on how to operate the cars and where to find them in the Lost Alpha mod. Link in the upper right corner. Just a little warning. It's an old video and my microphone was pretty bad back then. Another thing they cut down for the retail release, originally the game's AI would be so independent that other AI opponents could pursue the same goals as you, making it possible for the AI to complete the game's tasks before you could. As it has been told, this made for a very impressive life simulation, but not for very fun gameplay. This was toned down a lot and even Lost Alpha doesn't seek to recreate that to the fullest extent. 
Lost Alpha is in fact rather similar to the retail game, yet it includes a lot of additional content and massively reworked maps, utilizing a lot more graphical effects and rendering techniques not available at the time of the original release. When you played the original, many of the places will seem familiar, though they have been altered. And while Stalker Lost Alpha seeks to recreate the game developer's original vision of Oblivion Lost, which was the original title of the Stalker series, it must be said that they did indeed take some creative liberty. The accuracy of their recreation is a topic of contention amongst the fanbase, and I personally would regard it as a spin-off, a alternative tale to the original Stalker game. Nonetheless, I had a lot of fun with it back in the days and during my most recent sessions. A clear recommendation from my side. Stalker Anomaly takes Stalker, a series of games which always had a survival aspect and then dials it up a fair bit. Stalker Anomaly pretty much takes every content from every Stalker game and attempts to pick out the best parts and then adds additional content on top. It is a Stalker-themed survival sandbox with free choice of faction and spawn location, massive modifiers for the game difficulty and gameplay expansions such as a weapon crafting system. There is an overarching story and every faction has their own little diversions, but in my experience it is more a means to drive you to explore the massive world and just sink into the world of Stalker. Even on lower difficulty, Anomaly is extremely challenging and only for those who have experience with the series as a whole. If this is your first time with Stalker, stick to the originals or Lost Alpha. My playtime with Stalker Anomaly is not as high as with Lost Alpha or the originals, yet I can say from experience it is a crazy interesting world to get into, but that counts for pretty much every Stalker game. Stalker as a whole is a series of games which always had a big aura of mystique around them, a lot of which is just silly. Nonetheless, the games have had some significant cultural impact and influence on other games that came later. Without Stalker, there would be no Metro. I mean, the original Metro build ran on the Stalker engine. A large contingent of the Metro developers are former Stalker developers. When asked why they like Stalker so much, fans will most likely tell you the atmosphere, and this rings true for all the games discussed in this video. The gameplay can be really janky at times, even broken. The occasional crash is to be expected, but this doesn't detract from the fun to be had with exploring abandoned cities and industrial ruins, and creepy underground bunkers, battling humans and abhorrent mutants in a post-apocalyptic setting which is not often seen in many of the post-apocalyptic movies. For some reason they always take place in America never in Ukraine. Give these games a look. If you can sink into the atmosphere of the post-Soviet nuclear wasteland, then you will understand why people are looking forward to Stalker 2. And with them recently abandoning their NFT plans, you can do that without a sour taste in your mouth. I myself am looking forward to Stalker 2 and I really hope not to be disappointed by any uh, modern conventions of over-monetization. I'm hoping for a solid single-player experience something I haven't had in quite a while. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video and found it to be informative. If you did, you know what I would like you to do. Give the video a like, consider subscribing for future content, and if you absolutely love what we do, maybe even consider supporting us on Patreon, as our supporters there got to see this video well in advance. Our wonderful supporters are Lone Wolf, Zat Gladys, Brapton Glass, Cookie, Uncle DG, Harrison Staffens, Plasma, Tome, Rainbow Flash, Gris Lever, Strange Module, Cop Fighter, Inter, Charles Third, Sir K, and Ram Gilama. To them and everyone else, thanks for watching. So, see you guys next time. Until then, have a nice day, and as always, goodbye and guten Tag. <laughs>